Today we're going to go over areas of circles and sectors. So the area of a circle is pi r squared, and r is of course the radius. So find the exact area of this circle, which means we do pi times the radius, which in this case is 7 thirds squared. Whenever you square a fraction, you square both the top and the bottom, which means that this is 49 over 9 pi inches, and this is area, so squared. Um, that's the exact answer. You could, of course, do the rounded answer by doing 49 divided by 9 and then times that by the pi button. Do not do 3.14. Use the pi button. Area of a sector is just part of the area of a circle. So just like sector, part of, I'm sorry, part of area of a circle. I can't do, I can't write and talk at the same time. So just like arc length was part of the circumference, a sector is part of the area. So you will do your angles part over a whole. So the measure of your arc or the central angle, whichever way you want to call it, over 360 is equal to the sector or area of the sector, I should say. over the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. So part over whole for both, and you cross multiply. All right, find the area of the shaded region. So part over whole for our degrees, 100 over 360. And then we're trying to figure out the area. We don't know what that is over pi, and then my radius is 5 squared. So cross multiply. 360x is equal to 100 times 5 squared is 2,500. And don't forget your pi. Divide both sides by 360. Which gives you, ooh, that's icky. 125 pi over... 18 and we don't know what the units are so we do squared u um you could of course find the exact answer by multiplying that times pi which would be about 21.8 units squared so whichever one they happen to ask you about it's always best to find the um the exact answer and then round at the very very end it's also the best way for you to get the most accurate answer all right this one says find the area of the shaded region but they only give you this angle measure so to figure out the angle measure of the shaded region we need 360 minus 80 which is 280 yeah so part of the degree over the whole degree and then we're trying to figure out the sector area over the area of a circle. So pi r is 2 squared. 360x is equal to, we need to do 280 times 2 squared. Which is 1120 pi. Divide both sides by 360. So we're going to divide that by 360, and that gives us 28 pi over 9. Um, and just to, and it's unit squared. Oh, and also to find the real one, you multiply that times pi, which is about 9.8. But this is the exact answer. Um, if you want to be able to reduce this in your calculator, so if you're in class or using the Wabbit Emu app or a TI-84, you would press, or TI-84, you would press math, enter, enter. And so what that does is it, tr it changes the decimal into the simplified fraction. If you are using an HP Prime, 
just do all of your math in the CAS button. So instead of the house, because that's your other option, do it in CAS and it will reduce it for you every single time that you do it if you need to do the re reduced answer. Um, if you need a decimal answer, you just need to use go back to the house button. All right. Um, given a sector area, find an angle and find... Oh, and the angle, find the exact radius. So we know that this is the angle, but we need the shaded area. So 360 minus 30, which ends up being 330 degrees. So same process, part over whole. So 330 over 360. The area of the sector, which is 60 pi over the area of a whole circle, which is pi r squared. We don't know what the R is. These pi's will automatically cancel when there's a pi on top and a pi on bottom. Cross multiply. 330R squared is equal to 360 times 60, which is 21,600. 21, Divide by 330. which you will need to math in or enter, gives you 720 over 11. So r squared is equal to 720 over 11. Take the square root of that, which I'm not going to even try to reduce that. Um, we're just going to do the approximated one of that. So the square root of that answer gives me about 8.1. And we have inches. Given a sector area and an angle, find the exact radius. Okay, so we have the outside, but we need to do the little one. So 360 minus 320 means that this is 40 degrees. So part over whole, 40 degrees over all of it, which is 360. Your arc length, which is 20 over the area. Uh, not arc length, sorry, sector area. Pi r squared. Cross multiply, and you get 40 pi r squared. Cross multiply, 360 times 20, which is 7,200. Divide by 40 pi on both sides. Seventy two hundred divided by forty is one eighty. So you have one eighty over pi, and then you take the square root of both of those. Which I know it said find the exact, but we would not make you do this. So I'm not going to find the exact of this. I'm going to do the square root of one eighty divided by pi. Use the pi button, and it's seven point six. Um, and then next over here, area of the shaded region, which means we're going to have to find the area of that triangle and subtract it out. So what you'll do is find the area of the sector and subtract out the area of the triangle. So we need to find the area of the sector first. Part of your angle, which is 90, over the whole, which is 360. We don't know what that sector area is. And pi 8 squared cross multiply 360x is equal to 90 times 8 squared is 5760 pi. Divide by 360. Which is 16 pi. And then the area of my triangle is half the base times the height, which my base and height are the same. So 4 times 8 is 32. So the area of my whole thing, my exact area, would be 16 pi minus 32 feet squared. Now my approximated one would be different. So 16 pi 
minus 32 would be about 18.3. So whichever one, sorry, whichever one it asks you for, that's the one that you give. And that's the end of our notes.